Hey, what's up everyone? It's Austin here, or Luna. And uh, today's video, I'm talking about something kind of funny that happened, like, I'd say four or five months ago. And I remember, like, seeing this, and it's definitely one of those times where, like, a bunch of different emotions went through my head. Like, I saw it, and I was like, oh, fuck. Life is now over. Like, it was one of those things. I was like, damn, dude, like, I'm probably about to get arrested. Because when this happened, it was just so confusing. Because I was like, dude, I didn't do anything. But I'm just gonna tell the whole story. I hope you guys enjoy this. Please leave a like if you do enjoy it. And yeah, here we go. So... I held off on talking about this immediately because I don't like to give attention to certain people that, like, want it. You know what I mean? Like, this kind of involves some people that I feel like would want this to be a video. I mean, shit, if they still watch my channel to this day, I mean, fucking awesome. I hope they enjoy this. But, like, anyway, so I was out with some friends one night. Like I said, this was months ago. And I was just literally driving around with them, just having fun. We just got back from my friend's house. And at this point, we were just trying to find something to do. And literally, no one was at my house. Like, my brothers weren't home. My mom was like across the country for her job or whatever. And the whole rest of this night, basically no one was going to be home, just me. And I was watching the house. So I locked it up before I left, obviously, because, you know, no one leaves the house with their fucking doors unlocked because then people could just come in and like hump your items and shit and steal stuff. So no one likes that. You know what I mean? I don't think any thief has actually humped people's stuff before, but who knows? People are fucking weird these days. But anyway, <laughs> I'm fucking sitting in my friend's car. We're driving around. And my friends kept trying to convince me to go back to the house to have, like, a party. Like, they wanted to invite a bunch of people to my house because no one was home. I said no because I've had my fucking experiences with that stuff and it never ends well. And I don't like getting my house trashed and then having to clean it the next day and not feel good at the same time. It's just not fun. But anyway, the one thing I did say they could do is we could all go back to my house and just all chill together. And maybe invite, like, one or two more people over. And that way it wouldn't be, like, fucking chaos. I know everyone, so it wouldn't be a big deal. And they were like, sure, let's do that. So we drive back to my house. We're turning down my street, and when I turn down the street, I see police lights, and at first, I wasn't even nervous. I wasn't worried whatsoever because my neighbor at the time just had, like, a little house fire thing, and it wasn't, like, a crazy enough house fire to literally ruin her house completely or, like, hurt her. No one really got hurt. The house was fine. They ended up fixing it pretty quickly, but those past few days, there were police and shit going to her house almost every day, so I figured that's what it was, but no, as we slowly pull closer, I can see that the police are in my driveway. And that there's multiple and there's more than I thought. So I was freaking out. I was like, dude, how many fucking times can someone swap me and they're going to fall for this? But anyway, we drive closer to my house and I see that there's people in my driveway that I've never seen before. Like people that are probably like two years older than me, like a group of them in my driveway, surrounded by police being talked to. And I'm just like, who the fuck are these random people? And I kind of thought I was like, all right, maybe it's not a prank call. Maybe it's my neighbors or something like maybe those are my neighbors. But we pull in. I get out of the car. One of the cops approaches me. Says my name, and he asks if that's who I am. He's like, yep, that's me, I'm Austin. And he's like, all right, come with me, someone needs to talk to you. So I was like, all right, I follow them up to the crowd, and I'm kind of like easing out now, because I realize that I'm not about to just get fucking cuffed and thrown in a cell all night. I walk up there, and I find out really quick that it wasn't a prank call, something actually happened. So basically, earlier, like I said, there was like random people in my driveway. They were subscribers, like they watched my videos. They showed up to my house to like knock on the door to meet me. And, like, quickly realized that knocking on the door wasn't doing enough and, you know, no one was coming to the door to answer them. And they thought I was asleep. So they started fucking with my window to try and open it and scream into my house to wake me up. And, you know, when they were fucking with my window, one of my neighbors saw them and thought they were trying to break into my house to steal shit. So they called the cops and a bunch of cops showed up thinking that there was, like, robbers or something. And then they basically ratted themselves out saying, like, no, we're just fans of this dude he lives here we knocked on his door he wasn't waking up so we basically tried to open his window to yell at him and they ratted themselves out which is kind of a step in the right direction because they didn't like run away afterwards and you know they stayed and they talked to the police but it was still pretty creepy like knowing that they were trying to open my window to scream at me if i was asleep could you imagine being asleep in your house and you're like just you know having a nice dream dreaming about like flying hot dogs or some shit and you just hear someone fucking shriek in your kitchen through the window. Like, completely fucking terrifying. Anyway, I talked to everyone for a little bit. The dudes explained their whole story. Like, they basically said they're, like, subscribers. They actually were pretty nice. Like, I could tell they were genuine supporters. Like, they kept saying sorry. They thought I fucking hated them. Which I don't. I don't hate anyone, honestly. Like, I was more freaked out. I was like, dude, you guys had me thinking I was about to get arrested or some shit. And they were like, no, no, it's our fault. If anything, we should be... And I was like, no, no, none of that, none of that. And, like, they were nice. They just expressed it in a very, very creepy and weird way. And they did fuck up my one window, which is kind of annoying. Like, my one window is literally permanently locked. I have two in the kitchen, and one of them is completely fucked. Like, how do you do that? Like, you're trying to literally break a window to get it open, and you end up permanently locking yourself out. Like, I hope they don't try and break into houses for a living, because 
With that kind of fucking luck, you'd like get inside and then like butt dial 911. Anyway though, I told the cops and shit, misunderstanding, and I didn't want to like go through charges or anything like that. And I told these guys like, you know, it's okay, just don't do it again. Wait till I have like a scheduled meetup to try and meet me. Don't show up to my house because that's kind of creepy. And screaming at me is not the way to get my attention. And they were like, yeah, we're sorry again. And everyone left. But really quickly, one funny thing happened when everyone was leaving. One of the younger police officers who wasn't talking much came up to me. He's like, hey, Austin, quick question. And I turned around. I was like, yeah, what's up, man? He's like, I overheard you talking about YouTube. Do you do it? I was like, yeah. And he's like, do you stream it all by chance? I was like, yeah, Twitch. And he's like, no way. I watch Twitch every single night when I go to bed. And he's like, I play a lot of different FPSs. You should add me. And he he gave me his fucking Steam name. I have one of the police officers added on Steam that showed up to my house. And he has like CS Source and shit. I asked him to play a game of CS with us once on CSGO. But I don't think he has it. And he completely curved me and ignored me. So that kind of sucked. I got completely curved by a police officer. New lows, guys. New lows. But yeah, the, that was pretty much the fucking end. I thought it was a mixture of creepiness and like relief and terrifying at first and then funny at the end so i hope you guys did enjoy it please leave a like if you did enjoy it It'd be cool if we get like 10k likes on this video subscribe if you're new leave your stories in the comments down below i'll see you guys all tomorrow peace it's great my boss is a fucking bitch matter of fact